Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Premier League Fantasy Football and welcome to my video. In today's video I'm going to be looking at my latest draft. Now I know we've still got two more weeks left but I am just having a lot of fun changing my players around and looking at different strategies. In today's video I want to look at my team, look at a transfer planner. I also want to look at a Fantasy Football Hub website to look at some player stats now i want to get to that point where i'm pretty happy with the team i have my other options ready and waiting just in case if there are some injuries if there's players coming back from a holiday really late and or you know if they don't perform in the preseason and so on you know we've still got the transfer window open so a lot of things can happen that might affect my players but I just want to get to that point where I'm happy with the team, I'm settled down with it. And um, the only way for this to change is those things that I mentioned. So yeah, so going to go through it. Um, if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe and drop a like on the video. I hope this video will get up to about 100 likes. Okay, so here we go. So first up, let's look at the team. As you can see, I've got Sanchez, I've got Shaw. I've got uh, Trent, I've got Diaz, Robertson, Saar, Salah, Sancho, Cavard Lewin, Watkins, and Tony. Okay. And if we look at the bench, I've got Rafinha, Ireland, and Gilmore, and still there, that is not going to play. So I'm going to talk to you guys about like when I'm thinking to wildcard. I'm going to talk to you guys about each positions and give you guys why I picked these players and what other players that I'm thinking about as well. Okay. So the goalkeeper options, there are a couple of goalkeepers that I have in mind, such as Martinez, but Martinez is 5.5. And there's Backman as well from Watford, that is 4.5. And there is another strategy that I'm looking at is to having two 4.5 goalkeepers just in case. But right now, in England, uh, the COVID cases, cases is dropping, so maybe we might not need... A bench to kind of help us out but but we will see what happens right you never know what can happen um as you can see for the defense i went with that big at the back so i got luke shaw trent and diaz and i added robertson to the team now there's other players like kufal look at dean that i'm looking at matt target so i can always downgrade um, robertson and bring one of those players in or i can switch this formation to a free for free formation and bring Rafinha back into the team or maybe use that money um, for Robertson elsewhere so there is a lot of options there and I'm going to go through some of the player stats before I give you guys like a brief overview of my team then for the midfielders I've got Saar, Salah and Sancho now as you can see I don't have Bruno Fernandes and I know you know he's a fantastic player and I'm not doubting that but I just thought, let me bring in Sancho for now. Let's see what I can do with the money um, like in my team. If I want to go and get Bruno, I just have to downgrade Robertson, to be honest with you guys. Uh, and there might be a, a 0 0.5 somewhere that I need to steal. And that can that can be easily done. And then, um, obviously, the other midfielders, I've got Rafinha and Gilmore. Gilmore is going to be on my subs. Uh, Rafinha um, might bench him in game week one, but then play him in game week um, two, and then bench Saar. Now, as for the strikers, I've got Cabot, Lewin, Watkins, and Tony. Tony is a player that I just want to bring in my team. If he does well, then that's fantastic. If he doesn't, then I'm going to remove him for uh, Antonio, or it could be Wilson from Newcastle. Watkins is there because of these first three fixtures. They look really good on paper. And Kevin Lewin is here because of the long-term kind of investment. And these fixtures looks really good um, for them to do well in. But we'll see what happens. You know, anything can happen with the new manager. So that is a quick, like, an overview of the team. Um, and a lot of things can happen. And I could still change this around. You know, I can go and get Antonio and uh, Wilson if I wanted to. So there is a lot of things that I can do. And I'm, I'm open for that. You know, I'm not someone that who would just be like, no, I want him and that is it forever. Um, I will, like, keep a mind open about different options. So the strategy that I am thinking about is... 
wild carding after game week three. Now, I already mentioned this on my previous video, you know, wild carding after game week three is the international break. Plus, it's the deadline for the transfer window. So we will know who moved where and we can make those adjustments for game week four and onwards. OK, so that is my first kind of um, thoughts about the wild card. So the early wild card is actually really, really strong at the moment. Um, but for me, I want to look at my team for the first three fixtures. And then if something happens, OK, cool. If I need like a couple of players, then I will wild card. I basically, like, you know, what I'm trying to say is I don't want to get to that point where I'm forcing myself to wildcard early. Last year, I forced myself to make a transfer. And that is not what I want to do this time out. I want to plan properly. Last time out, you know, last season, I started using the transfer planner um, around January. And that helped me out a lot. So from 500k, I went around the 50k mark at the end so go and check out livefpl.net it is a fantastic website to go and check your live rank and and so on there's so many things in there but i want to show you guys this so this is pretty much the team that you saw um on the fpl site on here so as you can see this is pretty much the team there we go got all of the players set and ready yet yeah? this is for game week one now if i change this to game week two just to see how my team will line up and as you can see i've got sanchez at home against watford i've got Shaw away against um southampton i've got two liverpool defense with trent and robertson against burnley at home i've got diaz at home against norwich obviously salad there as my captain against burnley Sancho away against um, Southampton, Rafinha at home against Everton, that's why I don't have Luka Dean right now, uh, Cabot Lewin against uh, Leeds United away, Watkins at home against Newcastle and Tony away against Crystal Palace. This team looks really good on paper for game week two. So here I can actually bank the transfer. You know, I've got players like Eileen and Saad to kind of help me out just in case if there's some injuries, uh, if there's players that are not going to play to kind of help me out to kind of bank this transfer and then what I can do and as you can see if we move this to game week three there's a couple of like bad fixtures for some of my players I can bench maybe as an example as an example I can bench like Robertson as an example or I can remove him downgrade him uh, to kind of get me those funds to make those transfers in game week four you know if Harry Kane goes to Manchester City maybe I'll remove Cabot Lewin you know so I can kind of like slowly plan um, and I can do a lot of things with two free transfers and as you can see um, that's just maybe I will um, bench Saar and play Eileen against Burnley I could do something like this so this is just an example as you can see, though, I don't really have the best captain option, so I need to be looking at that. Um, but yeah, right now there's a lot of talks about Jack Grealish going to Manchester City. If that's the case, then I might actually bring in Jack Grealish at this time. Maybe I might bring him in game week one and just keep him and he will be a fantastic captain option for me against Arsenal. So there is a lot of things to kind of think about and having a, a transfer plan like this helps out a lot trust me guys it helps out a lot so please check that out so now let's look at fantasy football hub website where i'll be looking at some stats now i will be fixing this up a little bit um, the ui is all over the place for now um, but in my next couple of videos uh, i'm going to be looking at um, each positions and looking at these stats so if you do want to become a fantasy football hub member there'll be a link in the description below so right now as you can see we've got a bunch of players here and i'm looking at the last eight games that they have played in the premier league okay and as you can see trent is on top okay if we look at some of these stats here amazing amount of stats as you can see the ui is a little bit broken here but i will fix it in the next um, video but I just want to quickly like go through it. Uh, Luka Dean, um, Godfrey, we've got Coleman, you know, Everton players there. 
like I mentioned before, I'm looking at Luca Dean. I just need to see if he's fit and ready. Uh, Robertson is up there as well. Um, you've got Richie, who actually performed really well in the last eight um, fixtures last season. Chilwell is a an interesting one that I got my eye on. Um, Chilwell's like first um, like couple of fixtures. Let's just have a quick look. So Chelsea will have a Crystal Palace at home. This is a very good fixture, by the way, which I think they can do really well. Then Chelsea has an away fixture against Arsenal. Then, you know, they have Liverpool away in game week three. So difficult start for them, but, you know, they can always keep a clean sheet there. So Chilwell is on my radar. Um, Alioski, um, Kufal, a lot of people's talking about Kufal. I'm looking at him as well. So if I don't want Robertson, I can go and get him. So there's a bunch of players here. And if we do like, Stats from like total stats from the beginning. Diaz makes the table. You got Cancela as well. Matt Target, Dunk. So these are the defenders I'm looking at. Uh, just to quickly like go through the midfielders. You know, you got Fernandez um, being number one. Oh, let me just do this. Maybe you guys can. Oh, it's too, it's too, this is the thing. I need to sort this out. But Fernandez being the the number one. Um, player there with the, the most points with 244. Um, Salah, Son, uh, Mane, you know, Rashford, Dallas, um, Harrison, Gundogan, um, War Prowse. But if I change this to that, like the last eight fixtures for last season, you got Bale, Pepe, Greenwood. So it kind of changes a lot, but Bale's not there no more, right? Or is he? Um, Pepe is still there. Greenwood, but now there's Sancho, uh, Mane and Salah is up there, Dallas. Uh, so a lot of players here that we have to look at. So I'm going to go through this on my next video. So I'll fix this all up. But I thought I'll let you guys know, um, you know, what I'm going to be doing in the next um, coming videos. Uh, if we look at the last eight uh, fixtures that the Strikers has played in the Premier League, um, you know, Ian Acho was uh, like on fire uh, Chris Wood that I had in my team remember that um, that hat trick uh, Watkins played really well Benteke so Cavani a lot of people has Cavani in their team so I will go through this more in detail fix things up but I just wanted to show you guys a few players that I have that I have in mind that I would like to bring into my team so yeah that was pretty much it I will fix up the UI for the fantasy football hub website um, I want to talk to you guys about uh, like the goalkeepers and defenders in one video. Then I want to look at the midfielders. I want to look at the strikers. I want to look at how well they did in the last eight fixtures in the last season. I want to look at what they might do for this like first three or I don't know, eight fixtures for the new season and kind of like come up with some uh, players that we might want in our teams. Okay. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe and drop a like on the video. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.